one of the things that's quite handy to keep in mind when writing is the fact that English is what's known as a subject verb object language. Um, what this means is that every complete sentence in English will have at least a subject and a verb, and in most cases a sentence will also have an object, and they appear in this order, subject, verb, object. Uh, in some languages you can move the, the elements around, um, or you might uh, be required to place um, an ending on certain elements uh, in the sentence in order to denote or indicate what the subject, verb, and object are. Uh, but in English, it's determined by the order of the words. Okay. And another important thing to keep in mind in English is that nothing really, if you just keep this in mind, there may be some exceptions, but in general, in most all cases, <clears throat> you never have anything between the verb and the object. So, for example, in some languages, you could, you could um, say or write, cows eat often grass or cows eat uh, always grass, but in English that's not uh, considered correct. So again, the verb and the object always go together. Um, cows eat grass, our subject, our verb, our object. Okay, just to review, well, the basic most simple sentence structure is as such. That is, the sentence will have a subject and a verb, it expresses a complete thought, and very often sentences will have an object. So for example, subject, I, verb, enjoy playing, or it's sometimes referred to as a predicate, okay? Um, tennis with my friends, this is a complete sentence. I enjoy research, I hate jogging. And if we back up for a moment and think about cows eating grass, well, here's our subject, our verb, our object, and again, they come in this order. Okay. You have complex sentences as well in every language. Now here you'll have more than one idea in the sentence. For example, although I hate research, I enjoy writing. We can't continue unless we get the funding. Now these kinds of sentences need some sort of a linking word or correct punctuation in order for them to make sense. So here, okay, let's look. If we really break it down and decode it, in a sense, you've got a subject, I. Hate is your verb, your predicate. Research. This is a complete thought. I hate research. Uh, this is also a complete thought. I, subject, enjoy, uh, is the verb or the predicate, and the object is writing. So here we have two completely, you know, separate um, entities, ideas. So we can't just stick them together with a comma. We saw that in the previous slide. We need a linking word. All right. Here, again, uh, we need a linking word to connect these two ideas. Complex sentences.